Love Turks, Act 5, Scene 1, a part of the country. In Fortunio, lying on the ground, attended by Selina, habited like Antonio, Felice, and Shepherds. In Fortunio, I do not know this place, nor who you are, nor know I yet myself. Selina, in Fortunio, in Fortunio, that name I once did answer to, but then I was not banished to wilderness, nor slept on such a bed. Oh, if I be he whom you call in Fortunio, tell me how I came hither. Dost thou weep? I pray thee, tell me, boy, why do those tears drown thy fair cheeks, but that they will not show manly in me, I'd force my eyes to weep too. And we would sit upon a bank and play, drop tear till one were bankrupt, you amaze me. I ask how I came hither, answer me with other language. If you do not mean I came by water, which you might express too, in words as well, nay, better, for you now are cruel to yourselves and murder me. Tell, or I shall be mad, rises, Selino a stay, that brought in Fortunio hither. You have now told yourself distraction brought you in Fortunio, ha, huh? distraction. Now you increase my wonder, was I mad, or do not you, by answering, study to make me so? Why should I be mad, or being so, how came I well again? For if I dream not, I am well and calm. Selina, you owe the shepherdess for your restore, whose skill heaven made so happy. Fortunio, did you fair shepherdess restore me then, and by your art recover nature's laws? All my well-being's yours, but yet if you could so physician-like cure the disease, which is but the effect of some distemper, you then should know the cause, for else you are uncertain in your applications. Pray tell me then, why was I mad? Felice, but this lad can tell you better that than I, but if this, his sorrow will not let his tongue deliver it, I will tell you, sir, you were in love. In Fortunio with whom, I pray? Felicia, one whom they call Selina. In Fortunio, ha, Selina, and what a depth of black forgetfulness is in Fortunio fallen into? Selina. Could I forget Selina, O oh, shepherdess? I was not mad till now, for can I be myself and forget her? Oh, in this question I am undone, for I do hold myself and all my understanding. By her name I am a beggar, she hath purchased all, nor am I a master. Of one thought of comfort I borrowed not from her. What curse was fallen upon my memory to forget Selina? Selina, sir, you remember her too well, unless she would deserve it better. Fortunio is not in her power to deserve, boy, for she is now beholding herself. to release me of my furies and make me sensible again of that was my first corrosive it was unfriendly oh it was a happiness to be mad stark mad first she was being lost what have i else to love i was all hers i gave myself away and deeds a gift should hold Selina, why should you be so passionate at once reason so they recovered teach you love yourself reserved for nobler fortune and fortunio it is true i'm a very fool in doing so and you will be my mistress then and teach me I'll forgive myself. What sayest thou, boy? Shall I be shepherd too? I will live here, and have thy company. Thou art like my love. Shall we, shepherdess? Felicia, with all my heart. And Fortunio, come, let's sit down a while. Nature hath spread. Her carpets for us here. This is the lowest, and yet tis higher than a palace. Pray, t teach me your shepherd's life, and I do long to be a woodman too. And you shall do a double cure upon me. Enter Gasparo and Gorgon disguised as a shepherdess. Gasparo, stay yonder are some shepherds. Let's on this bank sit down and prattle. And how long is it since your sweethearts forsook you? Gorgon, will be a quarter of a year next grasp. Gasparo, alas, poor Mopsa, but come put him out of thy mind. Sing him away. Gorgon, laugh and sing him to his grave, shall I? Gasparo, and never love him more. Gorgon, oh no, his love like a canker hath eat such a great hole into my heart. I cannot forget him, but I'll sing a song of him. Gasparo, prithee do. Corgon sings a song during which Gasparo, eyes Felice, and Fortuna, he was innocent of all sides who would live out of this commonwealth where honest swains are lords and subjects. There's no acquaintance with craft and falsehood. All their souls are clad in true simplicity. They'll take truce with care while to talk this poor wench. Mopsa, I heard your name. Pray tell me, were you in love? Corgon, yes, forsooth. Fortunio with whom, forsooth, Gorgon, with a gentleman that has proved unkind, forsooth, broken his vows and oaths, forsooth, be made much of me, time was before his father died, forsooth, he was a good young man, then he kissed me, forsooth, and called Servarence, but now he scorns Mopsa, I was his equal once, and danced with him upon our church green, and I'm more here now, Fortunio, alas, alas, has he forsaken thee, Gorgon, he is now about to commit matrimonial business with the young girl, I wist. 
Gasparo sighed, "'Tis she, I'll have a trick to know it. Blessings on you, shepherdess. Yet by this hand you are no less. Takes Felice by the hand. You were in love with a fair man, crossed by a father. You began this shepherd's life in rusted weed. Is it not the truth I read? How, Felice, sir, are you a fortune teller? Gaspar, no, I'm a fool, and yet I know something, though you think not so. Felice, do you see all this here? Gaspar, that and more in this table lies your story. Tis no fable, not a line within your hand, but I, I easily understand. Your line of life is fair, hard by sense that of prosperity. But broke in the midst of the mount of Saturn here, which uh, we count, ha, triangle and mercury, your line. But Venus is no friend of thine. Fortunio, how now? Palmistry, believe him not. Gaspar, in your face, your fate is wrote. You loved a woman, she not. You know whether I say true. Her name began with S, but she shall never be enjoyed by thee. She's married now to one that's old, but very rich, her fortune's told. Fortunia beshrew me, he has cunning. Selena, do you believe him, sir? Gorgon, believe him? Nay, you may believe him. He's abomination cunning man. He told me my fortune is right as if he had been in my belly. First, shepherd, does thy fortune lie in thy belly then, sweetheart? Gorgon, partly, sir, as other women's fortunes do. Gaspar, damsel, you have yet a fate. will make you wonder more thereat. By collection, I dare prove that his name... Computed love began with G, but tis too true he has slain himself for you, Felice faints. Felice, come again. Do not believe me, I told thee false. I did but try to gain knowledge of thee, thy stars owe thee more happiness. Felice, look up, see thy friend alive. I'm Gasparo. Swift, I've made it fair work. Felice, ha, ah, tis Gasparo. Gasparo, have I found thee, O whence thou wert unjust, too much unjust, lest to present thyself from Gasparo, thy cruel father since hath wept enough to wash away his air. Fates, I do thank you for this blessed direction, but in Fortunia I am sorry now. I read the truth of thine happiness. It is true, Selina, is beyond your sphere of hope, pardon worthy, sir. The shape I took was not to mark your fortunes, but try my own. And have I found thee once, Gorgon? Oh, no, no, your suit is in vain. Hands off, Shepherd. First, Shepherd, I will make thee amends and marry. For these sweet mops are beautiful mops of Gorgon beauty, I do confess I have a reasonable beauty for black and white. While well, other colors are but compounded of them, but the truth is, I cannot so soon forgive my old love, though he hath proved false unto me, but so will prove true unto him. Oh, and it were not for shame now, I would die for love. Selina, be not dejected, sir. You have a fate, I'll smile upon you. I have a little skill, and that gentleman seem to have some knowledge. I must needs cross his judgment and pronounce you are more happy. Let not your soul annoy you that virgin shall enjoy. You first love, you doth wait to make your wishes fortunate. Ere the sun twice declines to the west, you may be with marriage blessed. Gasparo, the boy is mad. Fortunio, do not undo, sweet boy, the benefit thou hast already done me. Thou dost utter impossibility. Selena, then with one argument i can easily take off your wonders look on thy selena that on the wedding morn or sacrifato touch with the sense of thy indignities thus to obscure me from all curious search and inquisition but not hoping ever to be made thine now if true love maintain the opinion you pretend thus in your arms i pour myself and fortunate it is selena oh i am rent in pieces with joy and wonder despair hark you sir do not believe him let not passion make you your mockery is not Selena married to Rafaldo then uh, my goose giblet. I should have been at church with them, but for a crotchet that I had in my hate all the morning. I spake with her father yesterday from his mouth. I heard Selena was very well. I think I do not dream. Indeed, now I call it to memory. He said Selena was missed two or three hours on the wedding morn. Some figure I know not what. And Antonio is, I suppose, gone in quest of her. Not heard of since, but Selina is sure her father's wife or some devil in her likeness has abused them all with credulity. It's true, sir. Therefore, be not easy. Do not deserve more pity. This boy is mad, a juggling boy. Selina, shall I not be believed then for myself? Am I refused now? And Fortunio cannot be. See, trot boy, thy conceit took me at first with much credulity, but here's our nature's weakness. After credit that we affect, were there not too much against it? Thou mightest to see me, oh no, and Fortunio has given up, lost all felicity. Selina, since then you put me, sir, to prove myself, let me not be lost. I will not call you what I desire, nor name your sister. Give me leave to find myself. I know not when I am yet my brother Antonio gone. What fury hath assumed Selina's shape?
Gasparo can put on a man's spirit. Mopsa sent Infortunian for Lace Gorgon to the Shepherd of Walsern and regard your support. Now. Although I have forsworn marriage, if you desist, Constant, you may chance to have a lick in my maiden head. Exit Gasparo, Gorgon, and Shepherd Selena. I have it. My brother's lost. I'll send a shepherd in Antonio's name to invite my father hither in that incubus. I vow not to forsake these plains till I possess myself or be rejected quite. Suspend my, thy passions, then a while, Selena, tomorrow is the shepherd's holiday, which they solemnize with all rural pleasures. To well draw them sooner, or are they gone? I will not leave them. With this threat, I shall tread over the labyrinth and discover all exit. Scene 2. A room in Cornelio's house. Answer Cornelio. Cornelio, Antonio, slain a hapless Cornelio. My hopes were treasured up in him, the staff and comfort of my age, and he is gone. Answer Antonio, still in disguise, Hilaria and Rufalda. Hilaria has stand for Babalcus. Antonio, I have. Father, let not too much passion show that temper has been observed in old Cornelio. Cornelio, why was not he thy brother? Canst thou think thou hast so little share in young Antonio? That thou darest speak of comfort. Antonio, sorrow my life. Antonio is not dead. Rufalo, no, no, it is impossible. Antonio, but Balkus on my soul is a very coward and durst as well attempt to take a prey out of tiger's jaws as see a sword of patience bent against him. Cornelio, but call cowards in despair prove desperate and most unhappy. Tony, oh, my conscience, I could beat him into a mouse hole. Follow, nay, I could beat him, and I'm sure you can beat me what I were well rid of you as a double misery to be abused and dare not speak out aside and her officers with balkus hilaria hears the balkus balkus not guilty not guilty as it pleases your worships let me not be banged for a lie of mine own making it's well known i'm a stinking coward not guilty i beseech you i never drew a sword nagger in my life you hang me you undo me forever and tony look you sir it's clear balkus my conscience is as clear as crystal not guilty my lord i beseech you cornelia just not thou kill Antonio then, but Balkus let me be hanged if I did. Cornelius, stay, he'll confess. Balkus, I confess, I told a lie, thinking to have got some credit. But if ever I saw Antonio since he gave me two or three kicks, so I deserve well enough royal me the coals. Mercy and mercy, I do not cast me away upon the hangman now, in the pride of my youth. Not guilty, my lord. Cornelio, howsoever fear of death possess him, so I see the murder in his eyes. But Balkus, my eyes, would they were out then? Do you see murder in my eyes? My eyes bloodshot, Cornelius, his... Very hand doth shoe a guiltiness. Look how it trembles. Balkus, the fear of hanging, hath put my whole body into palsy. My hands guilty, could wash my hands clean. If I never killed a fly by this hand, I go to enter shepherd hastily. Shepherd, which is Cornelia, Antonia, this is the matter. What makes this shepherd here? Cornelia, I'm Cornelia. So with me, thou wouldst shepherd. If your name Cornelio be, contentment and felicity, to yet bring you, I am sent from one that doth call himself your son, young Antonio, who thus alone would beg your blessing. Praise that no affliction too much you dismay, for his absence bade me say, If you deign suspend your care a few hours and repair unto the place of shepherds by, to grace their pleasures with your eye, Antonio will himself declare faithfully what causes were of his absence, and requite these dollars with a fresh delight, and so for well this is all, but again I hear them call. Cornelio, I'll stay a while. Antonio, he is gone, sir. Did I not tell you Antonio was not dead, but this is strange. Cornelio, do I not dream? Tonio, Tonio, among the shepherds, I, if he be there, I am dressed faith. By any means, go, sir. But Balkus, is Antonio alive again? We follow, yes, very alive again. Let not the hangman fright away your wits any longer. Balkus, I hope I shall choose my own gallows then. Hilaria, you will not believe me. Did I look as I had killed anybody? Now I hope you will hold me for an innocent hereafter. Cornelia, but Balkus, pray let us have your company. Doth concern your freedom, Antonio living. We follow, let us make a merry day on it. If it be true, if I do sin against, discretion to distrust it, or my stars... I do acquit you all your injuries. You possess me of Antonio. Never did man to bless more will and go. In Balkas, I am glad and reprieve, come Valeria. Antonio, toward pretty, if Antonio be multiplied. Here is tricks indeed. I am resolved to see what will the end of this confusion be. Scene 3, the country. Enter Jenkin. Jenkin? Never was Jenkin in such wilderness. I have walked and traveled a great deal of miles in these woods. Note. Hope you will hold me for an instant hereafter. The notice, lest the wit of a Balkus could escape the reader, it may not be amiss to observe once for all that an innocent is used by all our old writers for natural fool. But her can find no end, nor evasions look you. Her have read in histories and relations, chronicles, very famous, nice, and brave 
Central men of valors and chivalries have been enchanted, looking in castles and very strong dwellings and towers and in solitary places. Now was have great fears and suspicious, lest Jenkins was fallen into some wisheries and conjurations and was enchanted. Bless us all in these deserts and wilderness for her valors and magnanimities. Jacquarella within, so ho ho, Master Jenkins. Jenkins is our pages again. Enter Jacquarella. Jacquarella, where have you been? You're very diligent boys to lose your master thus jacquerella i was lost myself and did not a shepherd by chance found me carried me into his house under the ground where with a great many of shepherdesses we sat up all night and making garland for some shoe and pastimes to be done this day which they call a festival pray sir since we have run a wild goose chase along let us stay one day to see these sports and dancings jenkins sports and dances say you Take pleasures and delectations and dances. Very well, Jenkins was know how to dance herself. Was spread in all sentiments, qualities. Look you, her will make no peregrinations. Back to all be done. It may be, will shake her legs and capers too. Look you now. And her Cornelio refalled Antonio dressed like Selena, but Balkis and Valeria. Cornelia, Master Jenkins, you are all. Well, meet in this part, I perceive you early this morning to partake the pastimes of our shepherds. Duncan, good days and salutations. A great deal of felicities come to all your worships. The Balkus, sir, my name is Master Balkus, and I am as good as a gentleman. Jenkins, as who, pray you, do you make comparisons? Balkus, I do embrace your familiarities, and remain your truest warm. Jenkins, not too much warmth, nor familiarities, pray you. He pages here, Selina, in her own apparels and vestments. All this very true as our countrywoman echoes was make report. Selina was gone and back again. Very well, Mr. Selina was very full of joys and exhilarations to see you in these places. You know how greatly and ardently Jenkins was taken with your uh, beauties and palcritudes. Crit while ago, pray, when did you make returns out of these woods? Jenkins had knowledge and saw in your shepherd apparel. I was make ambulations every other out of mere amours and adaptations as her true settlement. Tony, make return out of these woods and heard them but now. Jenkins, will you desire not to have things declared and published? Her was kept all silence. Tony, upon my life, you are mistaken quite in this. Master Jenkins, Jenkins, I pray you make not Jenkins ridiculous and derisions look. You shall hear no more of that matter. Call you only to memories promised love to Jenkins, pray you. Matrimony's great while ago. Tony, I deny not, sir, but I know not why you have long neglected me, and I am now married to her father. Jenkin, her father is not possible. Balkis' father, he says, it is impossible. She should be your wife. Her father, how not my wife? I would fain see that. Jenkin, Selena, your wife is truth and verities, pray you. Father, do you may question my wife? I think there is some reason she is my very dear wife, I'll assure you, sir. Cornelio, he's got a boy by this time. Her father, a boy, well, I've got something. Her Pox on your fingers. How sayest is not something done, sweetheart? And Tony, yes, my conscience, something is done. Jenkin, Jenkin was never all her days have such injuries and contumelies put upon her, was ever settlement thus abused. Have her made repetitions, genealogies of her blood for no matrimonies. Jenkin has beat the bushes and her father has got the bird. Hmm, her love not to make quarrels and problems, but Jenkins could fight with anybody in the world. All weapons from the lawn pikes to the Welsh books looking at the matrimonies, her Welsh blaze up. Look you, Canario. Master of Balkis, Jenkins, Master of Blue Bottles. Have you any stomachs or appetites to have any plows or nogs upon your costers? Look you, Balkis, no great stomach at this time, sir. I thank you, unless I have the memory day and no novelties with me. Cornelio, come, Master Jenkins, I now perceive you, my daughter. You had acquainted me in time, should not have been unwilling to have called you, son, but since it is too late, you'll let your wisdom check and patience. I know you are of a noble temper. I have severed passion, made a little cloud. Your virtues, let us be all friends, pray. Jenkins, here is very and honest words, yes, look you, Jenkins, is in all enemies and friendships, but Cornelia, oh, no more shooting at that, but. Hark, I hear the shepherd's music, and voice to less sit down. I pray, Antonio, keep thy word. Enter shepherds and shepherdesses with garlands singing. Woodman, shepherds, come away. This pan's great holiday. Throw off cares with your heaven. Spire and nearly help us to sing while village with your echoes ring. Nymphs that dwell within your groves leave. Your arbors bring your loves. Gather posies. Crown your golden hair with roses as you pass foot like fairies on the grass. Joy crown our bowers. Full of mel, thee of the terriers rape to tell. Let tree dance as they a Thracian lyre did once. Mountains play. This is the shepherd's holiday. A dance that's only ended in a mask of satires and dance, then enter a shepherdess with a white rod. Shepherd post hen satires and give way for fair souls to grace the day in this presence with the air, with new ravishings, hence with care. By the four like old time fast, lest occasion slip too fast away from us, joys here to still pleasures all your bosoms fill. 
acted as satires, shepherds, and shepherdesses. Enter Infortunio, Selene, dressed like Antonio, Gaspar, Felice, Gorgon, and Shepherd. Music plays. Selene and Ferdinand vouchsafe the honor to dance with me. Antonio, true sir, I cannot dance. Selene, we know you are Selene. Fortunio, your hand first. Shepherd, disdain not, gentle sir. Jenkins, Bible, Pables, with all our hearts, look you, Gorgon, noble sir. But Balkus, for lady, your service, Gaspar, I will not change. Felice, nor I. They dance in measure. Cornelia, which is Antonio, will follow, will break out and not. Selena, you are a thief. Antonio, ha. Selena, you have robbed Selena, Antonio, and I'll make restitution. Where are you, Selena, Antonio? Antonio, the devil you are, faith deal honestly with me, and I'll be true to thee who are. Selena, I'm Selena by my hopes of heaven. Antonio, a sister, then. Selena, I have no brother, but Antonio. Antonio, I am he. Oh, happiness. Selena, if thou be a Antonio, what made thee assume my habit? Antonio, oh, that anon live. Or of Antonio. Selena, he's here, and with Gasparo and my sister, the lost Felicia. Antonio, I'm ravished with his wonder. Selena, keep your face constant. The music calls. And they dance the second measure. After the dance, Antonio, Selena, and Felicia kneel to Cornelia. Cornelia, ha, ah, what means this? Antonio, Selena, Felicia, your blessings are with your children. Cornelia, who's this? Cornelia, I'm Selena, sir. Antonio, and I'm Antonio. Cornelia, amazement. Thou, thou Antonio, he's Selena. Ha, ha, how's this? My wife become a man? Confess she played the man with me. Cornelia, but who is this? Felice, I Felicia, your long lost daughter, find out by Gasparo, to whom my vows in heaven were long since sacred, and I beg once more he may be mine. Selena, as I to be possessed by and for Antonio here. Cornelia, stay children, stay take ye, you do not know. What strength of joy my fainting's age can bear. You fall in two full showers, like swelling now, these comforts will exceed the narrow banks. My poor frailty, rise, enjoy your wishes, and be my blessings, my pilot, upon you, Frodo, your Felice, my lost girl. Take her, take her, Gaspar, Selena, or not that our Frodo's wife. Tell you no, sir, ventures that he knows me well. Larry and I were bedfellows, at his request, from Balkan's house. Larry and you bedfellows, I'd laugh at that. Frodo, I am abused, disgraced, undone. Cornelia, nay, Rafaldo, why then? It seems you were Antonio. That I killed so, and you have as a man should say lane with Hilaria before Antonia. I'm not behindhand, but Balkus, nay, and you have tickled her before and behind. Tickle her all over for Balkus. Jenkin, argue, is there another Selena's? Bless us all. Here is very brave love tricks. Look you, fought a blessing on him. Why he hath made stock fish of me? He has beaten away all my inclination to give me blessing. Cornelia, come upon recollection, you must make it a bargain. They have it seen his bought and sold already. His past recovery, he shall be worthy of her. Lawyer, sir, that you may with more alacrity let fall your blessings. Know our bloods are pure. Antonio and your daughter are as chaste from any sinful act as when we were first mantled after birth. We fought all. Hesaeus, thou so. Antonio. It's none of my fault, I'm sure. We'll follow then my blessings on you. Come, you are both my children. Bark is how. Nearly men and mine. Why I'm wrapped beyond myself. Joys and fortune. Fate hath affected that I begged of heaven. And many prayers for you. And my blesses. But Bark is so I'm God. My house taken over my head. Gorgon, so you know who I am. I'm your walking terror incognito. I have a great mind to Bark is, you know what I have suffered for him and so forth. Gaspar let me alone, so... Then pleasures run with the stream upon us, but if we shall make a full day of it, here is one more to meet with her match. This poor virgin hath been long in love with Balkis. Troth, sir, look upon her pitifully complaining. Alas, could all be honest at length, and marry her, pray they do. You know what has between you it is a handsome wench. Balkis, hmm, I do remember she was in love with me, and so it was twenty more. Was that to me? Alas, would you have me descend so low? Gorgon, oh, sir, you sung another song in my mother's diary when we sat up all night together and had a sack posset the balkas i do remember such a thing but what is that i'll take it upon me gorgon i beseech you gentlemen speak for me for i will have him i am ashamed to shoot my reasons the bulk is very small ones away you dirty queen fortunio was he got with each child gorgon more than that sir felice had he hath any bastard well, Gorgon, indeed, mistress, I'll tell you, sir, he hath begot three children of my body, and Fortunia I upon it, no less than three bastards. Balkus Hound, she lies falsely, I got but two. So many I will acknowledge, because they shall not doubt my sufficiency. Had I any more than two, speak, you lying whore. Gaspar, sir, I tender your credit. There is but two ways. Either you must marry her, or give her a piece of money. That is the easiest way. She is poor for your reputation. But Balkus, what do you think will content the whore? Jenkin, arc you best, for you make some satisfaction to this gentlewoman, or 
Second was learn you for more honesties and behaviors towards these and warrant you and master blue bottles. The spiral a matter of twenty or thirty pieces you can spare them. The bulk as you trumpet here is twenty pieces for you you do here. Keep while the boys then, but you shall swear before these gentlemen you will never claim marriage. There being honest woman hereafter gives them money. Gorgon Yes. We're witness, gentlemen. I do accept all his wise benevolence, and will never trouble him with marriage whilst Gorgon lives all Gorgon. Gorgon, your servant, and your pardon today, Gorgon has had his devices and vagabond loads, as well as the best of you give you all joy. I wish you would, sir. Balkus, I am full of all sides. Was I born a fool? Oh, ha ha, Jenkins. Stay, you master double kellers. Here be more fools in the business as yourself. Well, Jenkins, were even best make journeys back into her own countries, and never put credits or conferences in any woman in the world. They all lie, and choose it, and make derisions of all measures. And for two, nay, gentlemen, let's all together, we'll drown all discontents this day with wine. Let's take up all our fates, then, and proclaim this day new festivals in Hyman's name. Balkus, stay little, and I'll, along with you, since I've missed my wench, alas, these gentlemen's good wills to a second match. Instead of an epilogue, comes forward notes. Was I born full? The first edition has Was I born? Was I born a fool? But there seems more quaintness in the present reading, which is that of the second, and which was also the phraseology of the time. Thus, Shakespeare, a devil, a born devil. The Tempest, Master Double Kellers. This probably alludes to the party Keller coat, which the Balkus wore as the clown, or as Gorgon calls him, the fool of the play. Courteous spectators and kind gentlemen. Gorgon, why, how now? What, are you mad? Will you speak the epilogue? Though you have played a fool in the play, you will not shoot yourself and ask before all this company the epilogue. I hope I am the wiser of the two and the better read in the compliment. Judicious gentlemen, Jenkin, hark you, Master Double Kellers, and you go to Gorgon's. Here's one wiser ass as you but to pronounce the epilogues, weren't you? And one that nods to speak as good English, a gentleman, now it's compliment. Our love strokes have been shown, and we intend to know if your acceptance crowns the end. The world is full of tricks, but it will be a trick worth all to have some plot to thee of love. If then contentment dwell on you, we shall conclude our play shoes well, which we did love tricks that we might prove it was a trick of ours to gain your love. The end.